tape measure. How many subscribers do we have? 76. 76? That, that's not bad, but it's not good. Well, tell people. Hey, subscribe. No. No. Yeah, or I'm going to send Jace after you. Yeah. I'm going to get in my little buggy over there and I'm going to come for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be riding down the street looking through every single window. Are well, you subscribed? No. <laughs> Subscribe now. <laughs> and then, then I turn into um, Anakin with a baseball bat. Yeet! Hear that? I'm going to send Bubba after you guys if you don't subscribe. So remember, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to send my son after you. You guys are going to get chased around by an 11 year old. Yeah, you're gonna get chased on by a buggy too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get strapped, and I'm just gonna set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like drag you on the street until you subscribe. Hey, that's that's mean, dude. That's mean. Hey, it's their fault they didn't subscribe. You're mean. <laughs> You're so mean, dude. That's 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 just messed up, son. I'm just gonna drag them on the street. <laughs> Subscribe before I come after you. Welcome back, everybody. So today we got a special treat. We got hey. Bubba as my cameraman helper today. So what are we doing today? We are going to strip this buggy of its parts and try and put it on this buggy. I don't think. So we're going to take everything off this home-built frame. We're going to put it on what? The high jumper? Yes. Alright, so you guys heard from Bubba. We're gonna get that going, so let's get to it. You ready? Yeah. Of course. You're always ready. Cause I am. Get up all these old parts. So what we gotta do first, Bubba? We're soon I'm not much of a technician here, but I I say we're gonna try and like take every old part off that is useless and throw it away and try and take every useful part and put it on there. What do you mean we should start taking off first? I say we take off the harder stuff. Maybe we can, let's see here. Maybe, hmm. Like, maybe one, like, Anything up to you, it's up to you, basically. I don't really know. I think we're going to take off the uh, the front end first because we already have it up on the stamps. Okay. Front end is. So I'm going to take the steering off first. It's blinking red. It's because it's recording. Oh, the screen turned off. It's all right. So it goes. That's how it stays battery. So the this, it's still recording, but the screen is off. So it's still live. Yeah. Okay. It's blinking to let you know it's still on. Rusted old parts. Change the steering shaft. Look at that thing. Bam. Looks like somebody had fun with this. Huh. Yep. Well, we will too. So. Oh. that tighter on here. I might have to get a new one. I hope we don't gotta get a new one.
That one's on there pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it's been rusted on there too. Oh yeah, but I sprayed it the other day with a bunch of WD-40, so it's hoping it would come off easier. I saw the WD-40 can right there. Yeah, because I went around and sprayed everything. Trying to get it a little loose. That's why we're trying to get our tiny little bolts. And he's grabbing his tools like a pro. Oh, whoa. Oh, well. Someone break that. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. SpongeBob meme. Insert SpongeBob here. Insert SpongeBob here. <laughs> has has SpongeBob been 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 turned into a currency? No. Let's see. You just need a bigger tool. in there deep. <laughs> and the viewers like to see it. To see what? The video. I was like, I was like it's really down in there. And, and I said the viewers really like to see it. Mm -hmm. That's why they watch our videos. We need to get more. We at least got to get the gold play button, which you need, Tommy, subscribers. I don't know. We'll have to look that up and see. I think you need at least a thousand subscribers. Silver, you need to hit. No, that no. That's the diamond play button. Ooh. Against that washer. Oh, hammer. I got a hammer. Big ball wrench right there. Coming in for the pile pile. Hoping I got a good V right there. There we go. That's no. off. That one can stay in there, I guess. We got so. the rusty part off, so now we must. Are we going to keep the steering wheel? For now. We'll keep it for now, yeah. Are we going to put the steering wheel on the other buggy? Yes. For now. Okay. That's our other buggy that I drove before, right there. Yeah, that's your buggy. My buggy. And the other one's for the family. Yeah. We're going to that off. So, oh. Look at that. That push from this thing down there. Really hurt. What did? Uh, oh, scratching? Yeah. I'm so I'm still surprising that it's still bleeding. Yeah, maybe by tomorrow the bleeding's gonna stop. I know that for sure, imagine. Maybe later today. Doing a no no. Put a chrome socket on an impact. <laughs> Was that bad? Yep, you're not supposed to. Why? Because they can break. Whoa. They can blow up. But we're um we're fine. It'll be fine. Be fine. One minute later you're at the store getting new tools. Yeah, no, I'm out here because our internet got shut down, so I'm just chilling. Hey, don't say that. I'm just joking. <laughs> I love being out here with my dad. He's funny and cool. Wee. I'm getting some high ground. 
It's over Anakin! I have the high ground! As I'm one foot off the ground. Ah, my cape. Here was nice the garage, then we got all the other tools. Hopefully soon we can put all this stuff inside the shop. Is that a pedal for a wheel? Where? Is that a wheel for a pedal right there? I'm gonna take that. Yeah, it's a gas pedal. We call it a roller pedal. So it'll roll on your foot. A lot of Volkswagen use that. A lot of people change it to that to the other one. Is it more comfortable? Yeah. Because it rolls on the bottom of your shoe. Is it in the shot? Is it a massage? No. It's just. Take out the drone. Duct duct tape the thing to it. Flying camera. I have my drone, and it has a camera on it, so. Probably just duct tape this to it. Fine. Get some pretty good shots. <laughs> you don't need to duct tape that to the drone. I know. Your drone has its own camera. Just like Dad's drone has its own camera. I know. Mine, I put a card in there to record it all. I don't think mine can hold that. No, those don't go on it. Probably go for the camera. I think we should. Dang, that thing's stuck on there. Use the rubber mallet. Hmm? Use the rubber mallet. No. Yippee. Bro, I got the metal mallet with the whatever that is. What is that? What is that tool called? A uh, pickle fork. A pickle fork. Was it used for pickles back in the old days? No. Looks uh, like a fork, but it's made for pickles. pickles probably because it looks like the pickle fork. Like one made for that, for stabbing pickles and pulling them out. Mm. Is there such thing as called as a pickle fork? Yeah. Is it for stabbing pickles or is it for something else? No, it's for stabbing pickles. Mm. Can we get a pickle stabber? Mm -hmm. Probably should for a snack bar when we do football. Yeah, so it's for dousing our hands in there. Subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell for n more awesome videos like this. Right. <laughs> it's like, right? You heard it. You heard him. Yeah, you heard me. <clears throat> Come on. We need more. We need more. We need, we need to start making money. Nah. We need money. Yeah, so we can just...
have to change these because if you look at them, this one's bent too. These are just stock. So instead of us have, ha, having having to pay YouTube, YouTube pays us. <laughs> Get it? Because we pay the lunch hole bill and it, and it goes to YouTube and everything. Because they make money. And then they pay us instead. Well, the idea is so we can just build stuff. And get and money then, for it. And give stuff to people. Give it away. Yeah. Like, that's the idea. Hmm. We can build things. Do we have any plans to use these rusty parts for anything else? Some of them we're going to use. Are we going to use that rusty motor thing? The exhaust? No. No, that has zoomies. With some other nice chrome parts. Take a minute. Yep. Pickle pork, pork pickle. Sometimes it does, yeah. So what is that supposed to do? Is it is it supposed to cut off the bolts? No, it doesn't cut it off. It goes between the bolt joint down here mm -hmm. and between the arm. Mm -hmm. And when you smack it, mm -hmm. it pops it apart. Mm. So basically <clears throat> ripping apart the bolt from the screw. It out, yes. Let me just twist this hand over. I can't even do it. I'm too weak. Can it hold me up? I'm too weak. If I can hold it, if I can hold up that, probably. Hold you up, probably, yeah. No problem. Oh, wow. Hey. Come on, you gotta show people what we're doing, man. Jackhammer! No, impact. <laughs> did someone paint the sand rail red or did someone start to paint it black? I don't know. That's the old owner, but I don't know. Remember, Grandpa Juan gave this to you. You know, for us to work on over here. So, and I don't know where he got it. He got it from somebody. Because the whole thing is black. Man. Everybody gonna be going crazy because you be putting a thing everywhere. Weirdo. No weirdo. You know that. I'm your father, which makes you weird too. <laughs> Dog.
Hey, not so close. Hey, not so close. You can be up there. Because it's going to get all that noise from the impact. This time. Oh, you're the cameraman. Why am I always the cameraman? Because <laughs> Dad says so. Wow. You're not always. A lot of times, Dave is. Wait, Dave actually helped you? Yeah, Dave helped me. Did Dave help you once, or did he help you multiple times? A lot of times. good Loosely so it doesn't fall. Uh -huh. And then we'll slide it where it needs to be. I'm just trying to get it on. I don't want you to smash your hand again, so. I'm not trying to. I know, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still going too. Still bleeding like heck. Got me good there. Some of my skin died off, like it turned black. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So, you know, see, it's another day. Um, got too dark and it started raining on us. So, but we're back on it. Rain's finally cleared. You guys can see. I don't have nothing out here. Except for a few clouds. Of course, it's cold. But, whatever. Must go on. 
got time to get this done so we'll be back on it and as you guys can see got that front end done now oh, pretty close to being done so a couple things you're gonna mess with like you know we're gonna have to replace this in here this brace because obviously it's a fan and of course tires clean the wheels paint them get her all done but already she's looking good uh things stripped taken off and uh yeah already got the fuel tank out it came off there so i wasn't sure gonna use this but i think we're going to for now for the time being it's just an old air tank from a semi i say the stuff they used to do back in the day you know <clears throat> she use what you got to go have fun so that's what we're doing but anyways you guys will see going down already got the coupler off got the brace down undone all this stuff shocks are out already both sides so basically we're gonna be down to this and the spring plates take those three bolts off on each side and this whole thing's gonna come out i have to go get dave to help me with that because i feel like taking the whole thing apart taking the wheels off and all that just to get it moved over i mean we're literally moving it from here to right there so why make more work why take it apart all right guys welcome back so as i said getting this thing out sorry beanie keeps sliding up but it is freaking cold out here <laughs> so anyways um we'll show you guys so pretty much all disassembled tires are off everything's over there ready to go in um not sure if i can pick this thing up with the axles and muscle them myself but poor old dave sleeping so give it a try see what happens just don't laugh <laughs> But uh, anyways, here we go. I'm gonna try to get it going. All right, guys. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, it was pretty much like a monkey having a football. <laughs> so, but we got in there and uh, a little hard free dolly. I'll tell you the truth, best 30 bucks I ever spent. Actually, I don't even think it was 30. Yeah, it was probably like 20 back in the day. Eh, never fails me, but as you can see, it's out over here time to get everything else lined up buttoned up and the wheels back on so hey back once we get this thing and put in the rest of the way and uh you guys can see at least get the bill housing bolted on right here you can see it's not lined up but we'll get that lined up get the spring plates put on and wheels back on and uh, i think that's it for today so not that you guys really see but the uh mounts on the nose cone are broke so I don't want to get this thing fully in there because I want to be able to change out that nose cone, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. So I get back to it. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, got to put in. I still got to line up these spring plates right here, you know. But one way I found out, one of the best tools, a screwdriver, or if you guys have a punch or an awl, I mean, you can basically just... I don't know if we can get it. Well, 
Eh. Well, you get the idea. Anyways, getting here, getting this lined up, you can just kind of pry it around. Works great. But she getting there. Not bad for, uh, I think, what? All in all on this project? The red one was given to me by my dad. So that's kind of a win, you know, a plus. But uh, this one, I bought this one for 200 And then the engine, well, scored on that. 80 bucks from, an, from a guy that just wanted out of his place. Didn't really care. The only reason why he had the old 64 convertible is because it belonged to his dad. And then went to his uncle. And once his uncle passed, he gave it to him. And the guy had money, so the guy didn't really care about some old Volkswagen engine that may or may not have worked. So, sold it to me for 80 bucks. Just wanted it out. So sometimes if you're persistent, you guys can find great deals. You just gotta keep looking and talk, ask. What's worse, somebody's gonna tell you, nope, right? So, anyways, um, get back on putting this back together and get those bolted up. Now, let me back, I just wanna show you guys real quick what's uh, going on, because the video's been kinda scarce, and it's just because I'm filming by myself, plus trying to do everything. And everybody wants to be inside or like Jason's in school, you know, and then David, he's sleeping because he worked last night. But for the most part, not bad. I used to work on these things all the time by myself. Well, Volkswagens, air cooled Volkswagens. But yeah, I mean, shoot, I think this whole project, we're probably going to try to stay under $600. Have a sound rail is ready to rock and roll. I already have tires to replace these old worn out pieces of junk, you know course I use but don't matter it's just sand rail just gonna go play in the dirt it's not like I'm going down the road anywhere and uh, yeah the front one once I replace the tires on the Honda I'll take two of those front ones and stick it on here and we're good to go so keep it cheap and you can have plenty of fun the thing is you just need to know how to do stuff or not even know I mean come on just be willing to try they don't have to spend the money on somebody else's skilled labor <laughs> it's a little word of advice, you know, you can have nice things if you build them. Just if you suck at building them, well, you can't have nice things unless you pay for them. But anyways, see you guys later. And uh, I'm going to get back on this and we'll see you guys as soon as we're done. Okay, guys. So when you guys are assembling these, I just want to get here real quick. Um, one of the easiest things you can do is actually, as you see, put a C-clamp on here. And you're going to want to just pinch, pinch these two place together with the c-clamp that right there it's gonna make a world of difference and you guys are actually going to thank me later you can use vice grips or whatever too it's just c-clamps a little easier and uh, that's one thing that i found out i'm putting these spring plates on especially because over time you know they work they move and they're trying to get everything lined up and one of the easiest things to do is once you get your bolts set where they need to be go ahead and just squeeze that clamp pull them together and your bolts will go right on in. I'll save you guys a headache. Trust me. Just easier. So, I'll be back. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think that's going to be a wrap. Uh, basically, you guys can see, clouds coming in. Not sure if we got any more rain, but if you look over there, it's getting pretty bad. So, I'm going to call it. And it's cold. So, but anyways, I'll show you guys what we got done. You can see, it's in. Tires are back on. She's sitting on her own weight. If you look, this is what's really cool. I wasn't gonna put that other bar, you know, over in here. Just to kind of go across right there. But this actually is long enough. It's actually a little too long. And I cut it off and weld that in. I hold the tank. It's almost perfect. You can hear do something with that filler neck and everything. But, you guys can see, that's where we're going to be at for this week. Oh, oh she's bad. I think it look really cool with those old school KC style lights. I mean, yeah, everybody's like, hmm, LED, LED. Truth be told, those are probably never going to be on. <laughs> or for looks, I'm going to hook them up. But they're basically going to be for looks. I mean, I could have taken the ones off Bubba's cart all the way over there, you know, and put those on. But 
Um, probably still will do that because uh, he's a real big fan. He likes these ones, and besides, they got the blue tinge. They kind of match his buggy, so he wants those. And what my boy wants, my boy gets if he behaves himself. He's not spoiled. He has to earn it, but he asked for them, and I told him why not. So we'll go ahead and get those off. Stick them on his on another time. We get back working on that little buggy again. But I also got a nice um, LED bar to go across there. So I'll take those off. Put that bar back up here on the back. I'll have that big bar to flash if we need lights. You know. Or we'll put it down here. Probably over in here somewhere. You know. Of course we're going to raise this tube up. You know I'm not a fan of trying to look through that little tiny windshield. Because I am going to put a windshield in here it just works better a lot of people are like no nah, nah, whatever y'all can ride around with your goggles and stuff i'll put my windshield in you know got a guy that'll cut glass so basically all we gotta do is put a bar in there a piece of flat plate and a piece of flat plate there and the guy will come and put it in and then glue it right in no big deal 100 bucks well worth the money so we'll go ahead and get that get this all raised up chopped up and everything get that fixed the way we like it but for the most part she's done so as always until later you